What is Dehancer? What is Dehancer? What is Dehancer? What is Dehancer? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something super exciting to share with you all. I think it's time we talk a little bit about Dehancer, the film emulation software and plugin that's been making waves in the post-production world for years. If you're into giving your digital footage that vintage cinematic vibe, stick around because this might be the tool you're looking for. First off, let's talk about what Dehancer actually is. Dehancer is a film emulation plugin that works with popular editing software like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut, and others. It's designed to replicate the look and feel of analog film stocks complete with realistic grain, halation, bloom, and even breathing effects. Now, Dehancer isn't just about slapping on a filter and calling it a day. It comes loaded with features that let you really dive into the process of making digital look like film. Here are a few of my favorites from Dehancer. Number one is the film stock emulations. You get tons of film stocks to choose from, each with its own unique look from Kodak to Fuji. It's all here. Plus, they've done an impressive job of capturing the nuances of those stocks. The second one I really like is the film grain. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. The grain is not just a simple overlay. It actually interacts with the image, which is why it looks so organic. You can adjust the size, amount, and even the color of the grain. It really is a nice tool to have. The third one I like is bloom inhalation really like this one a lot bloom gives your highlights that dreamy soft glow and halation mimics that red halo effect around bright light sources the combo adds so much depth to the image it just really brings out something special the fourth one is a film breathing gate weave and this is something a lot of other plugins don't do and it's one of my favorite things about the answer Film Breathe adds subtle shifts in color and exposure while Gate Weave introduces that slight movement you see like in old film reels. It makes everything feel just a, a little bit more alive. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro and take a look at what you can do with this software. Okay, now we're in Premiere Pro and I've got my clip here and it doesn't have anything applied to it as far as Dehancer. This is just a C-Log3. It's pretty digital. It's not bad. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into effects. And I'm going to grab my Dehancer. Put it right here. And then I'm going to go back to Essentials. And as you can see, it's already applied some stuff. And what I like to do is I like to make sure everything is turned off when I start so that I get a, a blank canvas and I can add as I go. Not exactly sure why it starts out with these things enabled. I guess that's to give people kind of a, a head start. So I think we're at square one now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this where it's at because that's where I need to be at. You can, you can play with that stuff if you want and you can immediately start changing the look of different things um, but I'm going to stay on Rec 709 there and close it out film and here's where you really make a difference in your in what you're adding um, if we enable it so you can see the different looks and you can also see that it doesn't overdo anything it doesn't turn it into something wild or something crazy you just have to click through and and see what's going to appeal to your product that you're at at this time and that that can take oh that looks nice i haven't used that one before oh, that's 
definitely different. The, and you can see the difference it makes almost immediately. And I haven't tried that one before, so I'm gonna, let's give that one a try. This right here is good for uh, tweaking to where, just where you want it. Look how easy that is to use compared to other plugins. I mean, you can really get the details on that stuff. Film grain, we're going to come back to in a second. I don't like film grain. Uh, <laughs> so we'll come back to that. Uh, I really just don't. Oh, that looks good right there. Collation, rocking, bloom, enabled. And that's going to look good. And film damage, I don't need to do. Film breathe, let's try that. to you could go in here and add film grain and as you can see that looks kind of cool but I know that I don't like the outcome of film grain so I'll go custom This is a whole different look than what I originally did the video. And it's different. I like it. It's 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 kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna save that. And make sure that everything is working good. And I'm gonna go, I saved it, I'm gonna export it highest quality settings and I'm gonna export that real quick there we go let's go check that out let's see I may have to turn off the grain I'm not a fan of grain let's see what we got I like that yeah, that's cool it's definitely not digital anymore but like I said I'm not a big fan of grain but there you can see what it looks like with grain of course I'm about to go turn the grain off I just don't like it 
Not that, I mean, if I was to use grain, it would be dehancer. But as you can see, you really can come up with something really quick that's completely different than the original. <laughs> So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to turn my old buddy film grain off, off. Now, I'm going to back this color off a little bit. Back that off just a hair. Maybe back that off. That's a little something. so I like this a lot better so this is closer to this is not even a this isn't even a bad look I kind of like it <laughs> so that's how we look on that um, it's not bad at all yeah that looks very cool now you can see why I'm recommending Dehancer. That's pretty cool. The control you have, I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, it's just a really, really amazing program. Okay, and real quick, I'll show you the one that I came up with after tweaking and working on a uh, video and that ended up exactly where I wanted it and that started my love of Dehancer and you can really do some interesting things with it but that was the finished product right there so what do you think yeah that's pretty amazing huh uh, yeah 100% uh, love it love it that's Dehancer. So what's the verdict on Dehancer? Let's break it down into pros and cons. Pros. The film emulations look incredibly realistic. Tons of options to customize and tweak so you're not locked into just presets. It's user friendly for beginners but offers enough depth for advanced users. And of course there's always cons. No matter what it is, the sooner or later you're going to run into some cons. So, Dehancer can be pretty demanding on your system, especially with all the effects enabled. It's on the pricier side for plugins, which might be a consideration if you're on a budget. But in my opinion, overall, Dehancer is a fantastic plugin for anyone that is serious about achieving a film look. If you're a filmmaker, content creator, or even a photographer looking to bring that analog aesthetic to your digital work, I think it's worth every penny you spend on it, uh, but if you're just starting out, it could feel just a little bit overwhelming and a little bit pricey. So if you want to give it a go, I've got a discount code that you can use, which is uh, Dehancer LLG to save yourself some money. And that's my take on Dehancer. If you like this review, hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think of Dehancer those of you who have already tried it out and are actively using it uh yeah let me know and uh you know don't forget to subscribe for more gear reviews tutorials and everything creative and as always i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one